Hello everyone, my name is Benga Adeyemo. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. People have been reaching out to me since I became an MCT last year, November. I remember I got a confirmation mail from Microsoft, November 8, 2024, that I am now officially a Microsoft Certified Trainer. And people have been reaching out to me to say, can you tell me how the new process? Uh, we know there have been some changes over time and they are making some, you know, they are doing some upgrade at the moment and they want to know what are the new steps. Of becoming a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Now, number one step is that you must pass at least one Microsoft certification. Now, it must be an either an associate certification or an expert level, an expert level certification. Now, a fundamental certification does not qualify you to become a Microsoft Certified Trainer. So, be careful of that. In case you are planning to take a fundamental exam, I'm not saying don't take it, but just know that it doesn't qualify you to become a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In my own case. I took the PL300 exam, which is the Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate exam, right? That PL300. I took that and I passed that, and that was a qualifying exam for me to become an MCT. Now, there are a lot of certification exams that you can do to qualify you for MCT. If you go to the learn.microsoft.com, you can browse a whole lot of certifications in different career paths, in different areas, in different Microsoft technologies depending on your job title, depending on your career path, depending on what you have passion for, right? Now, the second step is for you to register and take the instructional ski course by an instructional ski course provider. Now, they are called ISC providers. Now, this instructional skill course, right? Uh, I will take a good, uh, let, me, let me give an example of my own personal experience. So, I went through this website. I saw a list of all the ISC providers that have been accredited by Microsoft for you to take your MCT, uh, ISC, you know, the um, IS course, right? Now, when I saw the list, I also reached out to a friend who was, who was, an, who was an MCT and who is still an MCT. I reached out to him and said, out of all of this list of uh, ISC providers, do you know anyone you can recommend to me? And he recommended one of them to me. Uh, so they all have like different prices, you know, depending on their locations. Uh, that um, they offer the a uh, ISC the IS course. Now, the good thing about this um, ISC provider is that you don't have to register with an ISC provider in the location where you reside. So, for example, uh, some ISC providers are in different parts of the world. So, in Asia, some in Europe, North America, everywhere, and you can register with any of them. It doesn't matter where you currently reside. So, if you go to this website here. You are going to uh, see a whole a, like a list of all the accredited IT providers, and this is the official Microsoft website where you can verify and see all the IT providers. So you can click on each of them, reach out to them, send them a mail, tell them you want to take the ISC, the like the IS course, and that you are interested in becoming an MCT, and they are going to uh, reach back at you and tell you about the next steps, right? So um, after you have registered with them. You've paid the required fee for the IS course with the ISC provider. Now, in my own experience, what happened was that uh, the training took like two days, right? It took like two days, seven hours per day uh, because of the time zone. It was in the middle of the night for me, so I had to sacrifice <laughs> sacrifice the time. I was around like 12 in the midnight to 7 a.m. in the morning. And I saw other you know, classmates from all, all over different parts of the world, people from Asia, people from uh, Africa, People from different parts of the world were in the class, and we went through a whole lot of training, understanding the MCT program itself, understanding what it takes to become a Microsoft Certified Trainer, understanding some of the expectations, and understanding some of the qualities that is required for you to become a Microsoft Certified Trainer. We went through uh, some of the features that exist in the MCT Lounge. We went through the metrics that matter. And a whole lot of things. We talked about uh, enrollments, we talked about uh, renewal, and people asked a lot of questions on things that were not clear to them. And the trainer did a very good job explaining a whole lot of things pertaining to the MCT program and you know being an MCT. Right? And the first day of the class, I remember that we had a few, everybody was tasked to prepare uh, uh, a one page slide, a 15 minutes presentation about yourself so you're going to prepare a slide and talk about yourself in 15 minutes on the second day we were told to pick any topic but the topic you are going to talk about in 15 minutes must be uh within the certification that you've already passed so for example for me i have to pay a 300 certification 
I can only pick uh, or you know choose topics that are within the 300 or a Power BI. I cannot go and talk about a topic in Azure Data Engineer or other certifications that I have not yet passed. Right? So that's the interesting thing about it. So you pick a topic, you present it in 15 minutes. Then after the two days training, then uh, the IC provider said they were going to get back to us in another two weeks uh, on the final assessment. So on the final assessment day, uh, you will choose a topic within the certification that you have passed, right? And you will, you know, train in 15, you know, sorry, in 30 minutes. Yeah, it was in 30 minutes. So you choose a topic of your, you may you know, take a topic of your choice, you present it, you train it. So what they are testing is your trainer skills, right? So because in the, in, in the, um, in the IS course, they will have like take you, they will have taken you through, you know, a whole lot of expectations of being a trainer and all of those things. And they expect you to just, uh, you know, um, they expect you to, uh, you know, do your best, you know, present the topic and make sure that the people that are listening to you can understand what they are, what we are teaching. So it's not, it's more, it's more, it's more of, um, you know, testing your trainer skills, not really technical skills, right? So yeah, so 30 minutes I present, I, th I think I remember that I presented a topic on um, parameters in Power BI, right? In uh, parameters in Power Query, Power BI, yeah. That was, that was what I presented and the IC provider told us, you know what, we are going to get back to you guys in two weeks again. We are going to watch the recording of your presentation and if we find that to be very okay, satisfying, you know, ticking all the dots that are necessary, then we are going to move ahead with your application. So when you take the assessments and you pass, uh, the next thing is that they are going to issue you a certificate of completion of the IS course. Right, so they're going to issue you a certificate of completion and they are going to send your details to Microsoft. You know, telling Microsoft that this so so person has completed the instructional skill course and Microsoft can now proceed with their enrolling you for the MCT program. Right, so uh, in my own case, they sent me my certificate of completion and they also sent uh, an email to Microsoft and they copied me in the email telling Microsoft program team that. I have completed the uh, I, I have completed my IAC and they should move on with my application for MCT. So a day after that, Microsoft's program, uh, so the, the MCT program team, they reached out to me via email and they sent me some document to go through that has to do with the non-disclosure uh, agreement, that has to do with some of the policies, some of the glossary, you know, everything that I need to know about um, MCT in terms of some policies and how then uh, they also sent me a link for me to like a calendar, you know, for me to pick a date that I'm going to be meeting with them virtually. So I picked my date and I it was like more like a 15, 20 minutes meeting with the MCT program team, right? So it was more like 15 minutes, 20 minutes meeting with them. And they told me to share my screen, share my video, uh, you know, uh, and while sharing my screen, I opened my Microsoft Learn. They told me to download some things on my Microsoft Learn. It was like some text files that has like my um, MCIPD number, you know, and a lot of things that they just asked me to do during that, you know, within that meeting time. Yeah, and yeah, and that was it. And some few hours later, I got an email that I am now officially a Microsoft certified trainer. Wow. I was very happy when I got that email anyway. Yeah, so guys. Uh, always watch out for more content on this channel. I'm going to be sharing more um, career tips. I'm going to be sharing more content on Power BI, on Power Platform, and SQL, and a whole lot of things that I'm going to be sharing on this on this channel. So do well to share, to like this video, and subscribe. Share with your friends, those that are interested in becoming an MCT. Let them know about this new process. Now, this new process that I'm explaining to you. This is, this, is, this is as at February 4th, 2025. So the, tomorrow the process might change. They might come up with another way of becoming an MCT. I don't know what Microsoft is planning to do, but uh, do well to always go to the Microsoft website to get the official information about how to become an MCT. Thank you. Bye. See you in my next video.